What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. No, no, nigga. You ain't a terrorist. I've been watching you. You have? You ain't watched behind your ears or nothing. But I did. Look at me. He says that he was denied training at Prime Inc. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. TikTok, so I got some bad news today regarding my CDO situation. So right now I'm in the process of getting my CDL permit. I already did my general knowledge. I got to do everything else. Long story short, I got off the phone with Prime because that's the school I wanted to go to and the company I wanted to work for. They're telling me because I have a misdemeanor charge from back in 2020 that they can't accept me because it's not older than five years. But mind you, it's a bullshit misdemeanor charge. It's not nothing crazy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's over almost three years old, but they won't take me. And I had high expectations because... They offer schooling, which is three and a half weeks to get your CDL. They pay for it. Then their TNT phase was 35,000 to 50,000 miles, which is equivalent to about four to five months, four to six months, which I thought was good because that's a nice amount of training behind the wheel. You think so? <laughs> uh, you, you, you think four to five months behind the wheel with a stranger that may or may not be a good trainer is a good idea, bro. No, no, sir, no, ma'am. Sorry, not gonna agree with you on that one. But as far as the misdemeanor goes, I mean, it's kind of crazy that it was a misdemeanor. You know, depending on the situation or the charge, yeah, mega carriers such as Prime, Swift, uh, and all the other carriers that you're thinking about going through to get your CDL, uh, they might have an issue with your background. Some of them do, some of them don't. I'm just saying, you know, but I know Prime has an insurance policy that they don't want to bring in people because of their you know background being so minuscule even though if you feel that it was a bs maybe they don't think it was a bs so again it's just crazy <laughs> it's crazy how prime just you know don't want to mess with you guys but you got to make sure that your background is on point before you decide to go with these companies and make sure you do your research as far as how far they go back on your background check to get in. Now, as far as Prime goes, again, sir, I am sorely going to disagree with you. I, I think five, six months is way too long to be out with a, with a trainer, you know, that may or may not be good with them. And think of it this way. All right, let's say you're coming down on the last leg of your training. Let's say maybe about you only got like, like 10 more thousand miles to go, right? If you mess up on those 10,000 miles, they're going to have, they're going to tackle on another 20. So you could still be out training with that trainer. Think about that. On top of that, they had the lease program right after TNT then you can start making 72%. And I love that. I wanted, I had, I really wanted to go to prom. So now I got to find a school that's going to, I guess, pay for my schooling, give me training. Then after training, I can go into a lease purchase or a lease program. And I have no idea where to look because prom was one of the main companies that offered everything that I was looking for. I don't know. I hope I don't fall. <laughs> lease <laughs> you know prime is good for talking you guys in the lease after you guys get finished with your training hey come over here and lease with us we'll give you x amount of dollars and all like that sometimes it works sometimes it don't i me personally i feel going with a company being on a company side learning the company and everything learning how the program work to see if lease is good for me yeah i, I might want to do that first before 
you decide to go with leasing all right don't rush into it take your time figure it out because as i said before a lot of you guys is rushing into things because of money and not for the experience sometimes the two don't clash well i'm just saying Big cheese got it locked. Boy,